Xbox One S motherboard. Let me show you what's going on. Uh, we had the motherboard only, and that's for a specific reason. So while at the shop, I performed a test on the power connector, which is located here on the board for your orientation purposes. This is one of the first tests you want to perform on a board when it has uh, no power or if it's a quick power on, power off. Now one side of this connector should be ground and one side should not. This is the ground side, so we should get a beep. And on this side, we should not get a beep, but we're getting a beep to ground on both sides. So we definitely have a 12 volt short to ground. In order to find this short, we're gonna to have to inject voltage and see what's getting hot. I have an announcement. I being Micro Major Repair and moving back home to Texas. My primary service area in Texas will be North Richland Hills, Hearst, Euless, Bedford, and Fort Worth in general. All mail-in services will be temporarily paused to the month of August and will resume sometime in September when I've worked out all the logistics. If you're a local shop in those areas and need micro soldering services, please reach out. Talk to y'all from Texas in September. My personal guidelines for injecting voltage is to start with very low voltage. It helps if you know the voltage rating of the rail, but at the same time, you do not have to match the voltage of the rail. So what I usually do is start at a low voltage, usually about one volt and about three amps. Three amps should be adequate to find most shorts. And then I will incrementally raise the voltage in order to get the amp draw that I am looking for. If you start out at a low voltage and you're not pulling enough amps to get anything hot, raise it a volt. As long as you're within the specs of the rail, you should be okay. So we will be injecting voltage here. And in order to do that, we're gonna be putting one probe in the connector on the side that is shorted to the ground. And the other probe, I will be making contact with a connector, an HDMI connector or USB connector, it doesn't matter. The shields on those connectors are all connected to ground. I currently have our voltage set to two volt, three amp, because I've already done this and I just wanted to show you. So we're gonna inject voltage now. And as you can see, we have a power MOSFET getting very hot. Now the thing to know about voltage injection is it's not always gonna be as simple as change the hot spot, but in this case, it is that simple. Our problem is that power MOSFET right there. In order to replace that bad one, we're gonna to need to pull one off a donor. I've already pre-tested this board to make sure it does not also have a 12 volt short. In order to remove this donor one, I am going to need to set up my equipment. And while I set up my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It will not cost you an extra dime. All right, let's pull our donor part. Flux it up, bring the sauce. It'll take a tremendous amount of heat to work this board. So just be prepared. If you want to move the air around a little bit, I just want to pound it with heat because we were hoping to use this part to fix the board. For your orientation purposes, this is the one we're going to be removing off the customer board. Let's pull this guy and see if it's also a problem. We will test before we put a new one on. Now we're gonna test this connector right up here again, and we wanna see if we have relieved our short to ground. My apologies in advance, I do have the board in a different orientation. So this time we'll be checking the left side, and it appears we have successfully relieved our short. Excellent. Now moving back to our MOSFET spot. Make sure we have the correct orientation. Let's get our solder flowing. Close the chip. Close the flat. It's connected. This side could use a little help. Of course, hand soldering these guys is not an easy task. Let's test on our connector again. Make sure we did not reacquire our short. How did we do? And it appears we have not reacquired our short. Excellent. So to explain in a little more detail, I put one high voltage probe on a connector, the ground shield. All of this is ground. I placed another probe on one of our shorted pins to inject voltage. Okay, and that's all I really had to show you. I just wanted to go over voltage and injection a little bit. I don't have the whole console to show you the final result. If you found value in this video, I think you'll find value in this one, and I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.